Hello, here everybody. we go. Here we go. Captain Hello, Obvious. Man. This is obviously the better movie, and it's obviously a much bigger budget. I'm just being Captain Obvious. This movie. This is a really, movie. really fun fucking movie. This movie fucking rules. Movie rules. I hadn't seen it. Um, look, look, Jet. Look, 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 Ted. This movie fucking rules. That's what I wrote down too. I, I hadn't seen this in ten years, right? And I remember, you know, it's funny, like. Like I, I looked on Facebook because I used to post the shit that I was watching on Facebook, and I, I just find I found the post from when I watched this the first time. It was right after it came out on video, and I, I really wrote down like everybody needs to drop what they're doing and put this on immediately. Yep. Yeah. It's and exciting. it's that good. It's, it's watching it this time. You're, you're you're really struck with a couple of things. One, just again, this sort of movie coasts along on the effervescence of the filmmaking, and but really the performances that this guy gets out of these kids is nothing short of remarkable. John Boyega is the oldest one of them. He's 19. Uh, this, He's this, so this, good. This guy, this, 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 this little... Uh, yeah, the little Liam, white kid is Liam fucking Gallagher, hilarious, dude. Little, little, little Liam Gallagher over here is... Yeah. Like, <laughs> When he's yeah. when he's like he's like oh you're quite fit do you have a boyfriend yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no I mean it's Jodie Whittaker Jodie Whittaker fucking John Jody Boyega Whittaker, who I, I didn't really love in Doctor Who but I love her in this um, John she... Boyega goes on to be in fucking Star Wars and she goes on to be Doctor Who like because of this good. movie right because I mean of this movie this was yeah. a big film when it came out in England and, and even here and I'm it, sorry it wasn't but, so big here but I think sorry, it was like the, the those who knew about it knew about it was with the glowing teeth. Yeah, love it. The, 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 love gorilla, it. the, the gorilla so sharks from Beyond the Stars. So good. I love that. I love well, that they're just silhouettes. Essentially, it's great. Well, well, let Chris say what he was going to say. What? No, no, I mean, like the gorillas with the glowing teeth that you—they're so dark you can't see any details. I don't know whether that was a decision that was made because of it was cheaper to do it that way, or yeah, but, it is. I mean, it's budget. It's so ridiculously effective. Yeah, it shouldn't even work, and, and it he, does. When he hits that like one. When he hits that one with the sword and he chops it right in the neck, yeah, and it just goes down, and then the teeth unglow yeah. as it dies, yeah, like you understand that fully as an audience I, member. I, I think like, it's a great choice because our imagination filling in what their bodies might look like is way yeah. better than anything you could ever you show us. Like, yeah, yeah, you have understanding of yeah. what they are. Mm. But, but then you find out that this is a female, so the the body's different and all right. that. And but the, right. The, 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 again, watching it this time though, like you really sort of God, this is made really well because effectively it's a lot of hallways and parking lots mm -hmm. and like Dumpsters. cars and like, <laughs> some yeah, streets. Like no it's like the raid. Are you disoriented? Like you always understand what direction people are moving what right direction. parks and oh, the stuff. geography right. in this film is pretty excellent because you get a good feel for every space. and right behind scott every love, sequence works i love every, that nick frost shows up in here for yeah, 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 yeah like, that's right then you know he's a seal of of quality it tells you this is a uh Edgar <laughs> right film yeah. also yeah. also another guy another guy who just loves his own rap music yeah, yeah this guy's like, great yeah he's fucking great mm -hmm. he's so right? good. they're making a sequel mm -hmm. yeah, apparently i that was not that on my happened. mind yeah, just recently they announced yeah. that it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to throw out something controversial here. I between this and the other film we saw, the um, what, what do you know, yeah, Duke, uh, yeah, Duke, Duke, yeah, Duke. Duke. Uh, they have to say it because it's two separate episodes. Um, I I did not enjoy this as much as I enjoyed the other one. I thought this was oh. rather dull. Have oh. you never seen it? Yeah, I, I thought I, a, I, had oh, never seen, I had never uh -huh. seen it. I had never seen it before. I thought that so it took itself seriously. I thought it let I thought it so much funnier though. <laughs> the set the setup in the first the kids are so funny. I think they're the funnier in the other one. Dude, they're much funnier in the other one. Funnier, but I think this is a better movie. Yeah. But the thing is it's like I thought they took themselves too seriously in a lot of ways. And that kind of took away the fun of the whole thing because everything was just, you know, it, it's kind of hard to describe, but they, you know. They're, they're, this is all life and death stuff and they're out to be really serious these kids have to grow up in a hurry and it's just it's a trope and it just really seems i've seen i've seen it over and over and over again i thought the other one was really much more clever but in this... i think in 2011 it wasn't as much of a trope like all i right. think i think in context from when this movie was made mm -hmm. it it like this was such a refreshing also i think you have I, you know what i love about this movie the mm -hmm. two that you you have you have the teenagers who are yep. dealing with most of the shit right. and then you kind of have the adolescent kids who are also trying they're looking up to the teenagers tagging and after him yeah like, yeah, yeah. Well, that's i love that no I and, 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 and then you have this guy behind tad who's like you know he's the big big man on campus yeah he's like in his 20s my and block. He's like doing it yeah like i love how those are layers oh, no, there of, dude this right. is a, this is a british they, film you've got, you've got him 
You got no one's going to call you mayhem if you don't do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mayhem, dude. It's like it's, it's a class story. It's like what almost. Oh yeah, the social conscience of this movie is not thrown in your face, but it's just no. It, it's but you've baked got, in. You, you've it's got your, baked uh, in. Your, 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 your kind of meandering adolescents don't have really direction in life. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh. you live I love the way it's like they're scary as fuck. They have the little kids who are looking up to these guys, and you have the yeah. adults who are all basically failures. Right. You know, drug dealers and just kind of like staying yeah. inside this weed room and this and so it's it's this kind of layered failure going. Well, and Jody, and Jody Whitaker, who's graduated from college and is a nurse and all that stuff. What was she doing? What was she stuck in the council there? flat? What she's, she's doing she she, she lives there. Yeah. Yeah. What's she, she doing in a council there. flat in Brixton? She doesn't. That's the last place she should live. Because well, that's where you but she's not getting paid enough. enough. She said, "I'm thinking of moving because I don't like the neighborhood." What's wrong with the neighborhood? Well, okay. I hung a lantern you, on it. I'll give you that. <laughs> so but I love that. I love that these kids. I mean, it's like when when they when they mug Jody Whittaker, they're scary as fuck. But then they're on their phone with their parents, going, "No, I'll be home on time. I'll be on home." You yeah, know, yeah. they're all they're all answering to their parents. They're teenagers. They're adolescents. They just do that. So, so Scott, the, the one thing I throw at is this came out the same year as Super Eight. Yeah. Oh, this is oh, so yeah. much fucking I better. I saw first. Super well, okay. Sucks a big Super Eight was better than this. Is, okay, we're, if, we're, if we're knocking things off, this is better than Super Eight. Yes. Super Eight is the <laughs> version of this movie, and this movie, I remember at the time going, "God, this is everything Super Eight kind of wanted." The J.J. Abrams yeah. version of the Steven Spielberg version of right. This movie. Yes. Yes. Super yeah, Eight. Super, Super Eight is when I realized how much of a hack J.J. Abrams was. I'm like, oh, this is Diet Spielberg. Yeah, mm -hmm. but is this better? Is this better than say the Lost Boys, which is about adolescence going no, after? You can't just, fuck with the goddamn Lost there, Boys. There, I will Lost fight you in Temecula. An amazing movie. <laughs> there was something extremely fresh Edward about Herman's this movie at the time that it came out mm -hmm. twelve years ago, especially in contrast to Super Eight, which pre, you know came out a few months earlier. Mm -hmm. That's what and I'm I saying. Still like, this movie like is so refreshing. There's mm -hmm. still something yeah. I think very refreshing about, like what happens if aliens show up in the middle of a Low council income flat in housing Brixton. complex in a council in a council flat and a bunch of chaps kicking to death in a barn. Exactly, and kicking to death in a barn. Taking it very seriously, except I mean the, the the levity that is provided by like basically everybody. They're carrying it around in their backpack. Well, I like the aha part where you figure out the biology of the alien. It's an alien, bro. Right it's a yeah. fucking alien, bro. Yes, that, that part, yeah. the black light part was like, oh, there it is. You yeah, know? yeah. Well, and, and and again, like it has an internal logic and a consistency to it because they only go after the people they who touched it. Yeah. Right. The, right. The, the, and you the, don't know that till the end, which is great. Right. Yeah. 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 No, um, well, but that's what I was saying about um, in the chat about the sixth sense is mm -hmm. like, if you have a movie that has this kind of weird twist to it, but it has an internal logic that flows through the entire movie, that's good filmmaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah, that's good just writing. good filmmaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Like, like yes, and that behind you, Scott, is yeah. so that's, fucking That was cool. wonderful. That's yeah, that so great. fucking cool. I'll go, one, I'll go one further on this one. I think, and then John would appreciate this as a science spy guy. These are creatures that live in the dark. They evolved in yes. the darkness of outer space. That's why all you see is their life force coming through their teeth, basically. Right, right. No crazy. eyes. They just black fur to keep them warm and no eyes. <laughs> and, and, you know, they do this weird, like, this female-male like ritual Angry probably Japan. a number of years. Who knows why they all ended up on Earth, but, you know, that's not... It, it's a really that's quality bad. film, I think. I think we've already talked about, like, how, how well the story holds together. Um, and I love that, that it has these the social consciousness. I love the um, little character bits that the, the film barely slows down to give you, but they're in there. Like when the when, dude uh, hiding in the dumpster for half the, the movie. Dude hiding in the yeah, dumpster yeah. for half the movie. The fact that that Moses well, this, gives, gives Sam the ring back at the end. It's just like that's just perfect. It's, it's a perfect it's little a, button. It's, it's one of those yeah, movies that moves. Movie. Oh and, my god, it's Chekhov's ring. Come I know it's, no, it's, 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 but it's, it's not Chekhov's back in her ring. That's, that's movie. That's that's how you make a it's movie. This is this is one of those movies that moves so well. There were so fast. Once they set up the yes, it does. Hours, it does, Jared, hour. but that part did it's not. No, but it's it's, it's part of its strength. It's uh -huh. part of its strength. Uh, it does move fast, but it doesn't move relentlessly fast. It is very no, well. It, it, it gives that you everything it is, that you need, it does but this. it does it with energy and with yeah. style. And yeah, knows... even when it slows down, it doesn't it doesn't grind to a halt. It's no. it's, it just takes way, a breath. It's Chekhov's Union Jack. Because you see that Union Jack <laughs> that twice, too. and then yeah. he catches the Union Jack when he jumps off the fucking balcony. After right. I love that because it's like this is one of those like you know this is one of those to the world the world film audiences. I love that. See, we were saying we were saying <laughs> earlier we were saying earlier about recommending like this is one of those movies where I 
you know, do recommend to people on the regular because I'm like, hey, if you just want something fun and breezy and you've yeah. you've never heard of it or you've never seen it, um, yeah, that's you know, a great one to recommend to friends because it's not an it's not a, a a challenge or anything. It's no. just good filmmaking. I was yeah. I was I was hanging out with my friend today, and she always asks what movies we're doing for the show when we hang out. And gee, that's I nice said, to have a friend like that. And I said, don't uh, ask me that. I, no yeah, well, nobody likes you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> or that could be the clip. I'm right. Yeah, I'll write that down. It's just I, like your haircut, not you. Oh. oh. <laughs> so I, I said, I said, attack the block is one of the movies, and her eyes lit up, and it, yeah. she was because she was like, oh, I saw that. That's so good, you know. And it's just mm -hmm. one of those. It's one of those movies where, like, on the rare occasion that you meet somebody who's seen this, they're also super excited that you saw it. Yes. You know? Yeah. Like, like everybody's just like. Oh fuck yeah, that movie. That movie made me glad. Like I enjoyed watching it. You yeah. know? It's just a it's just a fine little movie. Now what else is Joe Cornish did The Kid Who Would Be King, which I haven't seen. That's fun. That's a good I saw, movie. I saw that because the the performances in this, I think, by the kid actors and whether they're like 20 or whatever. I mean, like the, the, I think that Again, all the, was 19. Well, the you know what's weird is the, of that group. It's the, the weird thing. Is, this like, film launched so many careers. This right? is one of those one of those touchstone films that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah had John Boyega. This is a Velvet Underground. Movie. And Joe Cornish himself, he he went from there to Tan and Tan. Also, to like, like well, Tad, Tad had, managed to work in like a producer on this, right? Yeah. And in yeah. in 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 a single like Tad managed to work in like two of my favorite of all time accents, which is Scottish and Cockney English. There like they're just two well, of the, my the absolute favorites. Week, the theme this week was Chavs in Trouble. Like, Chavs right, in yeah. Trouble. That was a good one. Yeah. That's a good I theme. mean, it's, it's, yeah. these, it's these gangster kids doing their thing. And I love these accents so, so much. Mm -hmm. I also love so the much. stone guy who keeps taking his headphones out whenever people come around him because he's yeah. listening to some rap music and he's just like going to it. And then he's like, oh, fuck, I'm white. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh, think he's really good. The beginning it's, part it's, it's like the guy in the office space who like rolls up his window. Yeah, and he... Yes, exactly. It's, it's like when it, it, what's his name? It's uh, the best scene. Chris kind of Chris kind of touched on this already, but I just want to say again, you could you could do worse than study this movie if you want to learn about how to stage an action scene and how to edit an action scene. No, oh, because yeah. well, they are it, impeccable. Every single you know, sequence. As, as much as I criticize that kind of the the kind of obvious storytelling. Mm -hmm. uh, shortcomings is the action scenes are fantastic it's the really good when, when, when they're, they're when they're, the early in the film the hallways, it's just fantastic it's really in the hallways and early in the film when they're running to the building and they're going on those stairwells and 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 they're splitting up on the on the you, uh did you feel the korean the bicycles influence? yes yeah what? Yes. the korean influence. you can feel the korean influence in this thing ah uh, yeah, yeah joe cornish definitely watched some korean yeah movies. like also, a bong joon yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. it was like i could definitely see that yeah so um when the kid wants to jump from the walk. Yes. Oh the yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like, another oh, one of those little character doing? moments. And then he does it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And John's right. Like that built. We knew who this character was, and it built up his. It wasn't just a physical awesome thing. It was him becoming more of a solid character for us. Right. Yeah. I love those little. You know that they set up payoff. Set up payoff. Like a movie like Back to the Future has a million of them, and and this movie did quite a few of them as well. Where it's like you just you're just so somebody. It, it doesn't Actually, take it's long. A, it, it's the Shaun of the Dead style. It's Remember, good writing. You, you know, yeah, writing. Yeah. 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 Edgar Wright's good at this. You're dead, kid. And all the people they previewed in the beginning of that film show up later in the film. Mm -hmm. This is that kind of self-contained storytelling that yeah. is a hallmark of Edgar Wright stuff well they it's really up, they, satisfying they set up the, eh. the, they set up the elevators I mean, eh. being no i'm gonna elevator. tell you why and eh. you want to hear why eh? yeah i want to hear eh? why eh? Scott, because Scott, if you set slide. up all the games <laughs> the film, you're not saying anything original the best part of this film was the aliens and how the biology part when it comes in explains all this wonderful I disagree. I disagree. random shit that happened in the first two acts now, aside yeah. from that it is kind of like you know, it's just like a, it's kind of like this doctrinaire British comedy in a lot of ways. Oh, Christ. No, I'm sorry, man. You're asking, that's why that, yeah, you know, I, why no, that I, like, there's, I, there's no, there's no point arguing with you. You're just wrong. Um, <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Call me wrong if you want. I'm not wrong here, man. It's, it's well, just someone it's, else agrees with me. I'm saying so that it's... I'm saying that's a British style of, of, of movie writing that they always, uh, they populate the first act with stuff that pays off in the last act with no randomness at all. 
and that you either love it or you hate Is it. Is that just movies? No, it's yeah. not just movies. That's, That's not just, just how movies. movies are. Some movies They're are just... able to balance it out in such a way that you are surprised by the end. Anyway, the the scene. Where anyway, they all, speaking they all, of the <laughs> ending, the, the scene where they all run into the elevator and then the the alien follows them into yeah. the elevator and yeah. there's all the screaming and the shooting and everything and then the door opens and it's just him covered in. Oh yeah, so yeah. Awesome. The gun no, I'm not gonna argue yeah. the argument again. Yeah. Where we God, we dude. all I also, I assumed they were all dead. They're you, all dead. You, you assume so they're Scott, all dead, but, but it's better. Survives. That's, That's better. better. Right. What was that? Chris tried to tell me something. Say, so Scott, you're, what you're basically saying is you liked all the scenes in the movie, you just didn't like the movie. I <laughs> no, I liked all the action sequences. I thought the acting was great. I, Every I, scene was I, great. I, I, I had a problem. I had a problem. What's the problem? What? I've been around. I've seen enough movies be able to separate one from the other. <laughs> Execution right. versus the overarching themes. Come on. What's wrong okay. with the overarching themes? All right. No, okay. no, no, just, I just told you I'm not going to repeat myself. I right. I enjoyed it, but it made me feel cheap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you. I don't like, you crystallized I don't like, my thoughts exactly. I, don't like this movie I felt so that... cheap and used when it was over. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I don't like that this movie I only came was, once. was better than it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's like well, all right. Okay, that's a lot of that's a lot of yelling for a movie that everyone who's right I, enjoys. I know <laughs> this was a good pairing. They're both just decent, fun really movies, man. Pairing, yeah, man. this is this, so again. These have been on my list together since like, in October. This, of this one has a this one has an energy that I just really love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 